Now, getting in this business and understanding all the, the BS that can come with this business as far as um, untrue rumors and just how it's some it be shady characters, whether they artists or executives in this business and who, who, who can tend to try to derail your career and sabotage. Now, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that go with this stuff. And um, in that aspect, for us, the shady business. No, nah, I didn't. I didn't. Appre- I don't appreciate all that. You know what I mean? But far as the music and selling millions of records and having radio hits, I I, I feel like I, I I did a great a great deal with that. All right. So you you talk about the the shady rumors, the the false rumors, uh, Sydney Star. You know that's been well documented at this point. When that happened, I lost a lot of stuff based off a lie, which was just that was the most oddest thing I've ever seen. And um, nah, man, people, nah. When just when the individual apologized and it so-called went away, which it took years to blow away. Nah, man, ain't nothing, <laughs> ain't nothing good happened from that for me. I'm going to tell you that when an uh, artist such as my caliber, who's who who sold millions of records, was once one of the biggest artists in the world. They look at that different if they not seeing you at these award shows all the time on the radio all the time. They they like, well, where is he at? What's wrong? But what was wrong was a lot of a lot of sabotaging and 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 bull crap in this industry. You guys never really made up, made up, did you? Like you accepted her apology, but you kept, kind of kept it moving. Yeah, yeah. There's no. I mean, to be honest with you, man, like it was spilt milk, and <laughs> I lost a lot from it. That person gained. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold on to something. It is what it is. Apologize, cool. I'm going this way. Let that individual do their thing. And a lot of stuff, man. But that situation that 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 hurt my career. Like I'm just gonna be honest about it. It really did. With that being said, what inspired New Beginners is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy who looks to nature for a lot of answers. And when I say that, just like the cycle of winter going into summer, you know, and things things die in the winter. But they 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 be reborn in the spring and you see it being vibrant. It's living again, but it's a constant process. So with human life, I go through things. You go through things. But guess what? It's going to come a time where we're going to be back vibrant and we're going to be back going. And that's one of them times now. You know what I'm saying? For me. And so nature gives me inspiration. And so Friday on the 19th, I'm dropping new beginnings. And um, it's a beautiful thing. In 2024. You know, where do you see hip hop, especially where do you see um, Kingy fitting in? Because it's kind of crazy I, right now. So hip hop is going to forever be one of those driving forces. Where I see me in it, listen, I'm just going to be honest with you. Nobody hit me to invite me into no hip hop 50 years um, things. Nobody nobody hit me and invite me into none of that. So I, I, what I'm concerned about is 20 years of jackpot. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm not really concerned about 50 years of hip hop, but I can't say the same for hip hop right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rap music right now with the, uh, is it Drake, um, Kendrick Lamar, Rick mm-hmm. Ross, J. Cole, all of these guys. Yep. I just, I'm going to tell you what I don't understand. We have all these successful, these successful guys, man, that's really successful. If we go, if, if it's friendly fire, if it's, some say it's hip hop competition. With me, competition calls division. That's that's with me. And we all seen that nothing ever really comes happens good from these type of situations. We can always go back to Tupac and Biggie, but it's several other artists that didn't pass because of stuff like this. But to me, grown men who are very successful, it's just like it's, it's time to cut it out. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, coming from where I come from. When it's when it's rapping over a beat, talking about people, mamas and this, this and that, when when we see each other, it's not gonna be good. That's so right. so I I just don't see it being comp- competitive, just rapping when people talk about people, mamas and mothers and these type of disrespectful things. But like I said, as grown men and as successful men, it's pointless to me. <laughs>